Well, achieving a goal in the world free of nuclear explosions, I mean, it's absolutely something that everybody can believe in. And it's absolutely something worth striving for. And I think the political will and commitment of those countries that have joined the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty demonstrates that the vast majority of people in the world don't want to see nuclear explosions taking place. And the only way we can find out if people are cheating the system is to have a mechanism whereby you can prove it. So if you can imagine that there'd been uh, a nuclear explosion or a nuclear test, based on the information from the International Monitoring System, the organisation would take a decision to go and investigate on the ground where they believe this nuclear test took place in contravention of the treaty. And we would send a team of people there with the necessary scientific equipment and scientific know-how to gather the hard evidence uh, to verify that there actually had been uh, a nuclear test. They will come with their own specialised background, uh, whether it's radionuclide, geophysics, seismic, but then we need to teach them the application of those scientific methods and techniques as it applies to the treaty. You started with gamma radiation monitoring and what you immediately detected was elevated gamma radiation. Yes. Everything that happens to this aircraft is logged inside to see the technical situation of the aircraft. This training comes at a time where international geopolitics is dealing with North Korea. The international community condemned the tests but what do we do? We cannot intrude the country through an on-site inspection mechanism because we're not in force yet. But what is at the disposal of the international community? The expertise and resources that we've put together and that we're gathering here in South Africa as an example of our training cycle. This is not about the country. It's about gathering and presenting facts. We have the facts that clearly show that the test occurred. Or we have facts on the ground that are inconsistent with the, with the nuclear test. Each nation says, OK, when the call-up comes, we know that we've got one or two people in our country that will participate in this exercise. And, the, and therefore, they can put a name forward. It, it really touches on a diverse group of people that have to gather evidence, remove their bias, remove what they believe is actually the case, and then provide a document to all the countries and say, okay, this is what's on the ground, you decide. There's so much uh, potential signatures that you could, you could find. Sure. Whether it's the uh, electromagnetic signatures, whether it's uh, you using uh, subsurface radar to looking for cavities, yeah, it, it could be very obvious on the ground, like a crater, or it could be very difficult to find anything obviously visible. So the picture that you gather uh, really depends on how the test was conducted, uh, whether it was vertically in place or horizontally in place, whether it was deep underground or shallow. It's very difficult to say in a, in a concise way what exactly may you, you may come across. And so you've got to really stay away from speculation, anything like that, and stick to, stick to the facts and stick to the evidence. And that way you should be able to work your way through any uh, red herrings that may somehow pop up in, in front of you. Uh, who is in charge here? Who is the, bad, the, the boss here? Uh, you? Okay, I'm talking to you. The visual observations are really key during a field mission. Did you take the picture? No, we, we, uh, we were trying to have access, you know, within the, the, that fenced no, area. No, no, no. We aren't allowed?
In the beginning, he said, no, no way, you can't go in. And no, imagine, we, 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 we see something interesting and we want to go through. We are scientists. We were deployed to go in that area and to find the result. Time is very, very, very important. If you don't deal with the time, then we are gonna go back empty-handed. And this is his objective. I don't understand why you are here. The purpose is... The purpose is nothing. The purpose is gossip. So you need to negotiate again with the time limit. I get, get my phone call Thank you. and finish this. But once you get inside, you are on your own. While in the field, you're creative. So learning by doing is the most important part of our missions. <laughs> I love it. I, I just I just love it. People have people are just brilliant. I think they are a work of art. And these are people that a country said, okay, these are the guys that we are putting up. And lo and behold, you, you, you find a, a group of people that you connect with. We just, we just did the executive summary. Yeah. <laughs> that teach you different things. You can see the basic fabric of human good in each person. And, and I think that that is, for me, quite fascinating to, to, to watch and experience, you know. And let's not forget that this is a proof that science diplomacy is key to solving problems. We're bringing the science behind the treaty with the expertise that is needed from a diversity of people and then prove that science can drive policy and science can help make decisions. So after 20 years, we're ready. We're ready with diversity, we're ready with expertise, we're ready with resources, and then we're ready with the kind of bond that we have created among those people to be happy to work together verifying the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. <laughs>